My name is Sarah Jones. I'm a PhD student with Dr. Danny Singh at Iowa State in the Department of Agronomy. What we work on is a digital twin, and this is important for farmers because in the future, we have a very fastly growing population. So we need to figure out how we can keep up the same level of production with the same or fewer resources. To maximize food production, we need to maximize yield per unit area of land, while also handling those external conditions such as weather, weeds, iron deficiency, nutrient deficiencies, so that we can make sure that farmers can maintain their profitability and food production. Hello, I'm Tim Lai Ayelade, a PhD student with Dr. Sumik Sakar's group in mechanical engineering. A digital twin for a farm is a digital prototype of our entire farm. The physical resources, the processes and systems involved. We map the entire space and physical objects to create the digital, digital replica and synchronize it with real-life data. Using this digital twin, we can simulate our real-life context in order to plan, analyze and improve existing agricultural systems at a tremendous rate. Digital Twin can be used in agriculture for many different reasons. Um, let's imagine a scenario where we have an entire field farm site that has been historically mapped. So we have all of the past data, and now in real time, we take real time, let's say, soil data and weather parameters. If we are interested in fertilizer conditions, well, we take the past data and the current data, and what that gives us is the farmer's possible solutions for managing fertilizer application on his farm. It can tell us the fertilizer formulation, where to apply, when to apply, how much to apply. I'm Zaki Zuberi. I'm a research scientist in Baskar's lab in mechanical engineering. Basically, digital twin consists of a real object, a virtual equivalent, and the connection between the digital and real space for information transfer. We design a digital twin by collecting data that describe our internet object using IoT technology such as sensors. Then we build computational models from them. It also involves building a communication interface between the object and our digital model using sensors where data can be exchanged in real time. This is done such that changes in physical twin will be reflected on the digital replica and data collected. To make a digital twin, we collect information on a plant's physical state, such as its growth stage, biomass, leaf reflectance using different sensors. We also collect environmental parameters, such as weather conditions and soil. With this information, we use it to make computational models that can tell us the relationship between the plant and its environment. These models can thus guide decision-making processes and help optimize yield in all farming sectors. This is a tool that will assist farmers and researchers to make more informed choices and decisions. The possibilities of the use of digital twin in agriculture are very exciting. Hello, I'm Anirudh Pawadi. I am a PhD student here working with Dr. Baskar at Iowa State University. As they have shown, uh, digital twin is a very powerful tool for agriculture. In machine learning, uh, it can also be a very, uh, very useful tool, especially for continual learning. For now, re uh, machine learning researchers are using prior uh, data which was collected and trained for uh, neural networks uh, to predict uh, you know, behavior and outputs for uh, the upcoming or new data that is being collected. Currently machine learning models in agriculture make inferences uh, on the new data based on the prior well-trained neural networks. As the digital twin receives continuous data describing the state of the physical twin in the actual world and how it responds to its environment and people's interaction, it's an ideal platform for developing, deploying, and experimenting with AI that is always learning, that is continuous artificial intelligence learning.